Hello, I'm Joey Casco, and this is the final review of Seven for Turkish Wine Month on TheWineStalker.net. I'm not sure how to pronounce this varietal, so I'm just going to say Bogus Kir. So this is Vincaras, 2011, Bogus Kir, Reserve. Seriously, what the hell does Vincara do to their wine to make it so pretty? I'm not one to really appreciate the color of wine, but every single one of these has been stunning. This one is a dark ruby red with brightly illuminated edges, incredibly attractive and sexy as hell. At first, the nose has lots of licorice and oak with a little raisin, but as it opens up, it becomes brighter with fruit roll-ups, warm spearmint, and toasted almonds. In the mouth, it's medium-bodied, but your saliva is immediately sucked dry by the tannin. Immediately. But that doesn't stop the flavors of red currant, black cherry, and peppercorn from coming through. It finishes with black cherry and almonds, but so dry that you think you're going to die of thirst. This wine is big, strong, structured fruity, peppery, and ridiculously dry. It's going to help you chew that cheap, tough piece of steak that you had to buy because you spent 30 bucks on the wine. And it'll be worth every cent. Uh, it's already five years old, 2011. Five years old. You could sell it for another another five years old, make it 10 years. Um, and I bet you it's going to be phenomenal. It, it's still young right now. For $30, I give it a 3 out of 5 in price versus quality for highly recommended. Read the full review on thewinestalker.net. Bye-bye.